it's Bessie LP and I am back again with another Trader Joe's product review. Today we are discussing my favorite food, my favorite food, my favorite food is pizza. <laughs> so we're discussing this roasted garlic and pesto pizza with a deep fried crust. Okay, deep fried crust. Honey, it sold me at deep fried crust. When I say deep fried, baby, if you probably black, maybe not. But even if you from the south, don't even matter what you are. Hell, if you just like deep fried food every now and again, this is for you, okay? When I saw deep fried crust, I said, how the hell do you make a deep fried crust pizza? I instantly thought, this better not be dry. This better be good. And be worth my money and the guy's like oh yeah yeah this is like one of our new um items but i haven't tried it out or whatever so let me just show y'all a little picture on the back so you can kind of see the little detail so it is a thicker crust okay and it is crunchy when i say crunchy crunchy it's the same way you deep fry anything that has a crunch that's what it's gonna be now I'm going to tell y'all why this pizza is exceptionally good, okay? Because I don't hoot and holler for all people's pizza. I'm a real pizza critic because I love, the love, love, love pizza. And so I will be ready to tell you, like, that was nasty. Now, I know it may also sound plain. Well, not, not plain, because anything with garlic and pesto is never going to be plain. But I mean in the sense of, for us people that eat meat, you may be like, well, they got to put a little prosciutto or a little something, a little something, something on there. I ain't going to lie to you, because I'm a meat lover. Now, for y'all, that's vegetarian. That's cool. That's perfect for you. You ain't even got to worry about it having meat on it. But for us that like a little meat, I was like, dang, I should have had a little piece of salami or something. So, I actually had some salami from Trader Joe's in my refrigerator. I had the black pepper uh, salami. And I cut it up into little pieces and I just laid it up on the pizza and it was good. Now I did try a piece without it just so I can give it the benefit of the doubt and it's also still good. Now it's roasted garlic and pesto as I said and then it's with four Italian cheeses, cashew and pine nut uh, pesto and a chewy Naples style crust. Now at first I was like cashews and pine nut pesto. Now what I think that is is because I've tried the Trader Joe's pesto, the vegan one, and I believe that's the pesto that they used on here instead of the regular Trader Joe's pesto that they also have. They have a few Trader Joe's pestos. There's refrigerated, there's just the shelf ones, but I believe this is the refrigerated vegan one that they might have chose to use, but don't quote me on it, because other than that, this wouldn't be vegan anyways because they're using four cheeses. But I believe that's the specific pesto. And I say that because I know people that are very particular about their pesto, because I know I am. Not all pestos are made the same, and not all pestos taste the same, okay? So, that is interesting to know and I thought okay well this is a nutty a nutty pizza so obviously obviously people that got nut allergy cannot have this pizza if you ain't got a nut allergy go on ahead and try you some because it is bomb now I thought that was a little wary and I thought it was interesting because it says cashew and pine nuts and then I was like okay I see these little bits of like garlic on here which I really love them little bits of garlic there with the little dollop, dollops of uh Pesto, I said, okay, you want me over in four cheeses, honey, I love me some cheese. Now, the little backstory is, let us bring a little part of Naples to you with this pizza. The dough in this pizza goes through a special leaving and fermentation, fermentation process over the course of three to four days. That's why this dough is bomb, y'all. It is in, it is then shaped by hand and deep fried for a total unique and chewy crust. We then top it with a burrata, mozzarella, provolone, and oregano um, cheese. Roasted garlic and pesto. Okay, so that makes complete sense. Baby, this tastes like fancy 
garlic bread. When I say it tastes like fancy garlic bread, y'all, it tastes like a fancy garlic bread. Kind of like when you get those baguettes and you know how the inside's going to be super soft, but you know that outer part's going to be nice and crunchy and <clears throat> this is exactly what that tastes like. But you know that it is deep fried because you know that when something is fried it kind of has that like little coating of oil, oily uh, substance on there you know okay this this got that oil in it this got that oomph in it and so that's what the dough tastes like and it also I can see how it says sat for three to four days because the crust or the dough actually really does taste that way so even by itself it's delicious but just topping it off with that perfect garlic and then that perfect pesto baby with the cheese made it perfect 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 and i like to describe this to y'all because i really want y'all to get up into this it tastes like a nice buttery crunchy um bread that you can just naturally eat by itself without the toppings so when you eat the pizza and then you get down to that crust mm, you just like damn this is some good crust and the thing is is I'm not a big crust person because if the dough don't taste that well I don't like to eat the crust by itself because it's gonna taste like meh but when you're eating it as a pizza it's like it's okay no baby the crust on here you eat every bite you don't leave any behind and you want to make sure that you cook it at the right amount of time 425 in the oven 13 to 15 minutes and I definitely checked it between that 13 to 15 because you don't want it to be burnt because you still want it to be nice and soft but you want it to be perfect guys when I say this is perfect with or without the salami however you want to put it it is bomb I didn't have to add extra garlic because let me tell you with my pizzas I throw down on my pizza as far as what I add on there I will add uh, oregano uh, garlic powder uh, red pepper flakes uh, extra cheese on top uh, any other thing that I want to add I add on my pizza believe it or not I didn't really add much of anything to this pizza. I think I might have added just a tiny bit of red flakes, just for a little kick, but I ain't add anything else. That's how bomb this is. So if y'all are into this stuff, don't mind the dairy, don't mind the nuts and all that stuff. This is for you. Get down to Trader Joe's and try it out.